up to my mouth. I'm gonna light it to put your joint out when you're done with it or to set. Hi y'all and welcome back to the Restart CBD channel. You are tuning into our month of March series called Going Green, where we feature a different hemp strain as well as a different way of combustion, of smoking that hemp strain. If you are new to our series, week two, you can go back to week one, which will be on our channel and linked below. This week, I'm going to be bringing to you one of my personal favorite hemp strains called Bubba Kush which if you're familiar with high THC strains, there's also a marijuana strain called Bubba Kush as well. So when you're shopping around, if you're interested in the one that is high in CBD, you're gonna be looking for hemp flower called Bubba Kush versus marijuana that is called Bubba Kush. I know it can be a little confusing. Unfortunately, there's definitely some influence as well as transfer of genetics sometimes between hemp and marijuana. They're the same plant, they just have different percentages of THC. That's really the delineation, the difference between the two. We're also featuring a joint. It's a really straightforward way of experiencing cannabis. It's pretty much self-contained because it's all like right here. Like I don't need a separate piece to smoke out of. I don't need a grinder to, you know, smoke smoke with a pre-roll joint. Now, if you're loading a joint, you will need a grinder, but if you're buying a pre-roll, it's pre-roll, hence the name. I wanna kind of point out a couple things. This is going to be our Bubba Kush packaging from Restart CBD. We sell these in our retail as well as online. So we ship our hemp Bubba Kush flower all across the nation. These are going to be pre-rolled in our custom Restart cones. So that's why you're gonna see the little restart on the bottom. Any pre-roll might come with any other type of comb, but I just wanted to kind of point that out. This is a little fun thing that we have for our pre-rolls. How you're gonna use a joint if you're not familiar, there's two sides to the joint. This whole thing is kind of like the cone, but the cone where the filter touches is the smaller side, kind of going down into a cone shape. And then the wider side, the top side is where you're gonna actually light it with fire. All I'm gonna do is just kind of simulate how I'm going to be using a pre-roll. Something that might be a little bit more familiar to some and not so familiar to others, so don't feel like there's a silly question around how to smoke a joint. In fact, it comes up a lot, and so that's what we hope these videos can do is be educational and informative to help you feel a little bit more confident when you are consuming cannabis. I'm gonna do, typically, I'm gonna hold it between my two fingers, um, my pointer finger and my middle finger. That's kind of like how people hold it. Another way they hold it is kind of like pinching it like this, the whole point is you're gonna kind of just like put it in your mouth and you're gonna need it in your mouth to light it if I lit it without it being in my mouth I need air so I'm gonna need to be inhaling while I'm lighting it for it to actually catch on fire and then the way that joints and pre-rolls are, are, are rolled with this paper this paper it kind of moves it like moves as you're inhaling and so you don't have to like keep relighting it. Now there might be a case where your joint gets put out on accident, maybe it's super windy, you didn't fully light it, that you will have to relight it. But usually when you light a joint, it kind of burns on its own. The other thing to note that I wanted to be really sure to mention, we get asked a lot if people think that they should smoke the whole joint in one sitting. This is a one gram joint. Typically on the market, they're going to be in one grams or half gram. This is one full gram of flour. In my opinion, that's a lot for a singular person. If you are sharing your joint, you're puff puff passing it. You could probably use a joint, two joints maybe for your whole group of friends. But usually for a personal experience, I will take a couple puffs, put it aside, revisit it later. You can absolutely take a couple puffs and put it aside. That's kind of like the beauty of smoking cannabis versus when you are eating an edible, an edible you're going to eat is going to take time to digest versus a smokable, you will feel much faster, which is why smoking is more popular because you inhale and then usually within a couple minutes, you will feel those effects. So if you're new to smoking cannabis, don't smoke the whole thing in one sitting, take a couple of puffs, set it aside, see how you feel and then revisit it later. I don't want you guys to overindulge yourself in cannabis if you're not prepared for that. If you are a little bit more comfortable with cannabis and you're trying to achieve a more intense effect, by all means, smoke the whole thing. Hold it like I simulated up to my mouth. I'm gonna light it and all I'm doing, oop, all I'm trying to do is just like light that end perimeter, right? And I wanna burn it evenly. So you don't wanna just light it on one side. You wanna try to light it evenly and burn that whole end of the paper off. So I'm gonna do that again. 
As you can see, it's effective because this is burning and I just had smoke come out of my mouth. See that it's kind of evenly burning and to keep it going, I'm just gonna keep puffing away at it. Like I said, take a couple puffs, set it down. If you have an ashtray, an ashtray is gonna be a great way to put your joint out when you're done with it or to set it so that it can you know, chill while you take a break and let the effects take effect. Bubba Kush is an indica, which means usually in the couch, which I personally enjoy for evenings, nighttime, helping me relax, chill out. I do a lot of chronic pain as well and just body aches. And so Bubba Kush is a really heavy indica, if that's fair to say it that way. And I feel the effects really intensely. Remember, hemp flower is gonna be low in THC and high in CBD. So CBD as a cannabinoid is anti-inflammatory versus THC a psychotropic. You're not gonna feel super buzzy from a hemp joint, but the Bubba Kush is very potent in the extent that it feels really nice, it tastes really good, and you're going to feel a heavy effect. And so if you're looking again for something to help you wind down at the end of the day, relax, just take a break, take a chill pill, take a Bubba Kush pre-roll joint instead. That is episode two on going green. This month there are five weeks. We'll be releasing a new episode every week on our YouTube channel, on our Instagram. You can find us always at restartcbd, restartcbd.com. Reminder, we do sell these Bubba Kush pre-roll joints. We sell a whole bunch of other hemp flour and other ways for you to enjoy smoking cannabis in general. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe, tune into our other educational content, and thanks for session with us. We appreciate you guys so much and love educating our customers. Bye y'all.